Welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Today we'll be discussing about the crops for hydroponic system. We have divided the crops for hydroponic system in four categories. First is green leafy, second one is herbs, third one is fruits and then comes vegetables. Now as per my point of view, I would suggest that we should grow only those kind of crops in hydroponics that requires a very less amount of harvesting time from seedling. The reason is we don't want to spend a lot of time in monitoring or in taking care of plants. We want to grow plant and take the production as fast as possible if we are planning it commercially. So make sure that we only grow those plants in hydroponic system that requires very less amount of time to harvest your production. Let's move forward to our next slide. Today, we'll just look at the green leafy category. So let's move forward. Green leafy options in hydroponics. The first one is Swiss chard. It is one of the most popular in greenhouses and kitchens around the world. The tender leaves add freshness and a mild buttery flavor to dishes like soup, the bacon friendly southern dishes like greens and beans and even in salads or on sandwiches. Charred leaves grow on elegant stem which range in color from red to yellow to white and get larger than a dinner plate. Chard is a great crop for beginners due to its easy to grow nature. The cool weather crop is not only tasty and easy to cook but is easy to grow in almost any hydroponic or aquaponic system. Multiple varieties can be found from seed companies our favorite is Swiss Rainbow Chard. Chard is a good option for cut and regrow practices. Now, growing Swiss Chard. Mostly what we do is we germinate it from seed and only harvest 30 to 35% of the plant, leaving the rest of the plant to support another harvest. The yield per harvest is 200 to 300 grams only. The potential pests and diseases are minimal, very rarely with aphids and powdery mildew effect chart. The pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5, EC ranges from 1.6 to 2.3, PPM ranges from 100 to 1150. The lighthouse has to be minimum 10 hours and maximum it can go up to 14 hours. Now the temperature range has to be between 12 to 25 degrees Celsius and the ideal temperature I would say is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Now germination to harvesting period. It generally takes 4 to 10 days from germination to seedling and from seedling to transplant it takes 14 to 21 days and after it's transplanted in the coco peat or in any of the hydroponic systems it is then harvested after 3.5 to 4 weeks. So altogether for first harvest it takes 6 to 8 weeks. So I would suggest that if you are planning for chard to grow in your hydroponic system you can just go back in this video check all the details of chard that you can easily get in this video. So let's move forward. Next comes Agrugula. Agrugula is a brassica like mustard or kale. It carries a spicy punch in a tender leaf, making it a great addition to salads, pizzas and sandwiches. Some varieties are spicier than others, with the rocket variety being considered one of the spiciest one. Though Agrugula grows like lattice, some varieties are ready for harvest in just three weeks. So here, Agrigula is one of the most fastest growing crop in hydroponic system. Now, it is again, we germinate it from seeds. The harvesting is done by the complete cutoff of the plant. So the yield is approximately 150 to 200 grams. 
Rare, most common are aphids and flea beetles. Disease problems rarely occur in this. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC is 0.8 to 1.4. PPM 400 to 700. Light hours again 10 to 14 hours. Temperature ranges from minimum 10 degrees to maximum 25 degrees. And the ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Let's move forward. It takes 3 to 7 days from germination to seedling part. Then it takes 14 to 21 days to transplant. After transplanting, the first harvest takes around 4 to 5 weeks. Then every 1 or 2 weeks, you can start taking harvest again and again. So, the first harvest period is of 6 to 8 weeks. Let's move forward. Next comes the bokoi. Bokoi, also called white Chinese cabbage or Chinese chard belongs to the leafy vegetables pakkoi family of Chinese brassicas. Bokoi has white or green thick crunchy stem with light to dark green white leaves. All parts, stems and leaves can be eaten with the leaves being soft and buttery while the stalks are crunchy and slightly bitter in taste but very healthy as well. Size can vary from 4 to 12 inches tall. The planting is again from seeds. Harvesting is again the full harvest. Yield is 300 to 500 grams per plant. The pests and diseases they are related to this plant. Most common are aphids and powdery mildew. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC is from 1.5 to 2.5. PPM is from 750 to 1250 then comes the light hours it requires minimum of 10 hours and maximum of 12 hours the temperature ranges from 12 to 25 degrees celsius and the ideal temperature is and the ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees celsius now germination to seedling it takes 3 to 7 days seedling to transplant it takes 14 to 21 days after it's transplanted it takes five to six weeks for the complete harvest. So all in total, it takes seven to nine weeks for harvest. Next comes the Kale. Kale has been hailed as a superfood and has found its way into home and restaurant. Crop varieties from the scaly cooking Kale and curly Kale grace our soups, smoothies, salads and more. Some varieties display shades of red and purple like Russian red Kali. Kali's wide electrical conductivity ranges makes it compatible with many different herbs and greens. Let's move forward. Germination is again from the seed. Harvesting for partial harvest only take 30% of the plant at one time. The yield per harvest is 250 to 350 grams. It has Rare attacks of pests and diseases. The common ones are aphids and powdery mildew and grown mostly indoors. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC is 1.6 to 2.5. PPM is 100 to 1250. Light hours again minimum 10 hours and maximum can go up to 14 hours. The temperature it can withstand is from 8 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius. Ideal temperature for Kali is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Germination when done from seed it takes around 3 to 7 days for seedling. Then to transplant it takes 14 to 21 days. And for the first harvest it takes 5 to 6 weeks. So all together it takes around approximately 6 to 8 weeks for the first harvest. And then you can continue later a bit. And later you get the harvest after every 2 to 3 weeks. So let's move forward. Next comes the mustard greens. Mustard greens is another member of the brassicas family. There is support to assume that mustard is native to Eastern Europe and Asia as it is reflected by its common names India mustard and China mustard. The ruffled leaves of mustard taste similar to radishes and can add a spicy bite to a salad, sandwich or can be eaten by themselves. 
Mustard is often cultivated for its seed, which is used in brown mustard and has been used for centuries in folk remedies for aches, arthritis, and even to promote cow milk production in some areas of the world. A grower favorite is the Southern Giant Curled variety. However, many varieties have been bred with different flavors and colors ranging from green to dark purple. Growing mustard greens, it is again germinated with the help of seed. Harvesting for a partial harvest only take 30% for the plant at one time so that we can take another harvest. Yield per harvest is 250 to 350 grams. Potential pests and diseases are minimal to these plants. Cabbage loopers, flea beetles, cabbage worms and club root are the common ones. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC ranges from 1.2 to 2.4. PPM is from 600 to 1200. Light hours, minimum of 10 hours and maximum of 12 hours. Temperature ranges from 10 degrees to 25 degrees Celsius. Ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. It takes 3 to 7 days to germinate the seedlings. Then to transplant, it takes 14 to 21 days. And for the first harvest, after transplanting, it takes 4 to 5 weeks. All in total, it takes six to eight weeks for the first harvest and then another two to three weeks for the second one. Let's move forward. Next comes the lattice. Lattice is one of the most popular crops in the world. The cool weather crop grows sweet and tender, a perfect addition to any fresh dish. Lattice grows well in almost any gardening system whether hydroponic, aquaponic or traditional soil gardens. It takes up relatively little space and has a short growing cycle when it's healthy and there is always high market demand for this in metro cities only. Hundreds of lattice varieties are grown around the world. The common varieties like red and green romanis, iceberg, oak leaves, green leaf and many more can be found in almost any vegetable market nowadays in metropolitan cities only. Let's move forward. Now it is again germinated from the seeds. Uh, we can harvest lattice as a whole head and store it at 1 to 5 degrees Celsius. Keep temperatures at consistent as possible. The yield is minimum 300 to 500 grams per plant. The pests and diseases, the most common ones are aphids, leaf miners and powdery mildew. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5, EC 1 to 1.6, PPM 500 to 800, light hours again we require us 10 to 14 hours. The temperature ranges from 10 to 25 degrees Celsius and the ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. It takes 1 to 7 days for the seedlings, then from seedlings to transplant it takes 10 to 14 days. And from transplant to the harvest, it takes four to five weeks. So all in total, it takes six to eight weeks for complete harvest. So this is the end of the session now. Hope we have most of the information about the green leafy. That is one of the best ones to grow in hydroponic systems. We'll look forward to the herbs, vegetables and fruits in the next sessions. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.